Hey guys, this is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I'm glad you came over to visit for a while. Okay, we're, we're going to talk to you some. We'll give you some information. How's that? You listen, I talk. I'd be glad to listen back and you talk, but you know, it's not going to work this way, the way we're set up here. We'll have to change that though. Um, but I, what I wanted to, to, to talk about, I was just doing another video and it, it, it got me that, you know what, this would make its own little video here. Now, sometimes we can hit a lot of different subjects at one time and it's better to focus on one. So what am I talking about here? We're talking about what does it cost you to deal with a public adjuster and how do I get paid? How am I compensated for my time and effort? First of all, a public adjuster, at least all the ones I know, we work on what is called a contingency basis. It is contingent upon our results, our effectiveness, and the willingness and cooperation from the insurance company as a reciprocation it takes place. And yes, I did say that. Okay, so what, what does all that mean? We can talk to you, we'll come over, we'll do an inspection, we, we'll uh, look at your policy, We'll explain to you, explain, explain to you your policy and we'll assess the damage. Once we make a determination that you've got something to roll with here or, you know, the fact that you've already been denied and there's damage and the policy does show that there is coverage for that, then we would give you our opinion. Yes, we, we think we, we should be able to. Now, sometimes we'll look at all that, and yes, you do have damage. Yes, your policy covers it. But you know what? The, the dollar value of the damage versus your deductible, you have a, a $3,000 deductible, which is horrible, um, is something that um, we're going to say to you, you know, it's a shame. Uh, I could win here, but what the damage I'm going to get you, your deductible is going to eat it right up. You're going to get nothing. So the, the least that comes out of this is get rid of that insurance company. Let's change that. Uh, and the reason why I say that, before I used to say, call them up and tell them you don't want that deductible. I'm finding more and more that they're not too quick. And this is what we write the policies at. This is the deductible we charge. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that. There are times they can. I, I've, I've seen situations where people originally have enlisted to pay more I'm sorry, pay less, and it's not that much less, but they do pay a little less, and then take on a higher deductible. But then as I can show them that, okay, now that you put yourself in this situation, it really has to be a substantial loss for you ever to want to possibly file a claim. So now what the insurance company's done by giving you, and it is a minimal discount, they have helped to ensure that they assured of you having a catastrophe, a whole fi house fire, or something like that, they're not going to ever have to worry about a claim with you because your deductible is so darn high. So that that's that's something that we can take a look at and explain to you, we'll give you the pros and cons to it, and uh, you know we can go from there. Uh, so all right now, so how do we get paid again? All right, once it's decided that we can actually represent you, and and we will do so. At the very end of everything, no matter how much time we spend on that. Uh, and you know, we, we, our company works as a team. So it's not one person that is working for you. You've, how you, you've procured the services. You've engaged the services of a whole team, not an individual, which sets our company apart from a lot of other companies. Uh, most companies, you've engaged the services of one individual, where here we have a whole team that works together in many aspects. Um, but uh, what we'll do is we will take a look at everything. And at the end, if there is no settlement, you owe us absolutely nothing. If there is a settlement, uh, up front, we had already agreed upon uh, what the uh, fee would be. And it will come out of that check, that settlement, which is from the insurance company. Not coming out of your pocket. It never comes out of your pocket. And it is also less the deductible. So the deductible is pulled out of there already. You're already being penalized by that. We're not going to put our fee and take something out of that deductible as well. But once the deductible is removed, your uh, actual 
cash uh, value, ACV, actual uh, cost value, is going to be then, we, we get a, a percentage out of there. Uh, and we, rightfully we should. I mean, we, we were the ones that had gotten that for you. It was through our efforts that built that up to that level to begin with. So, uh, you know, as I, I always use the example, you have um, accountants that will do work for you. And uh, why do you hire an accountant? Well, number one, he knows the tax codes better than you because that's his job, right? He does this every day. He's got that experience. At least he should if he's uh, worth a, you know, a grain of salt there. Um, also, he's done everything he could to get that as high as possible for you. So when he gets you a better um, return or tax return, you know, that, that's worth something. Or at the very least, if you had a very high tax liability, he works hard and is able to come up with the fact that he's minimized your tax liability. So that you know that that's how we are paid. We are paid on a contingency basis. Once we go through all the preliminaries, you know, policy inspection with the insurance position on things. Do we have a case or not? Once all that's done, we spend time and effort. Once an insurance check is cut. There is a fee that comes from that, not coming from you. And at the very end, when we've gone through everything, if there is no insurance check cut, and I haven't seen that yet, but if there isn't, you owe us absolutely nothing. We will take our fee from that zero that we got, and we're even. So guys, I hope that uh, puts your mind at ease. I hope that uh, oh, you know, set settles you a little bit, You know, gives you some insight to how that whole thing works. Uh, this is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. You can reach me at 610-213-8820 or email me at Steve Walbach, W-O-L-B-A-C-H, at Ymail, the letter Y, mail.com. Contact me. Let's take a look, see if there's something we can do for you. And uh, if there isn't, then, you know, we, we just walk away. Uh, you, at least you have an education. We've looked at your policy, and uh, we've given you what's known as a policy review, which uh, would then let you know if there's something you should be changing there. We would give you that advice. Guys, thanks for listening. I hope that uh, that was informative. If you would, if you would like that, if you would share it, and please subscribe to me. Have yourselves a great day. And God bless you.